I'm Pat Freeman. We're here on the network with my partner, Chris Stevenson. How you doing, Chris? What's going on, Pat? Once again, our weekly installment of the network, we're going to start off with talking about LT. Lawrence Taylor, once again, LT is in trouble, showing a pattern of abuse to himself and his family. What are your thoughts on LT? I know you've had a lot of Facebook posts. Uh, you've, <laughs> you've irritated a lot of people, Chris, uh, with some of your comments. You said that LT needs an old-fashioned slave whipping. Uh, what are your thoughts on LT? You know, it's a little bit different uh, trouble with LT this time. Usually it's drugs, as it was years ago. You know, And uh, this time it seems to be something of a uh, sexual nature, um, you know, but, but it's, still, it's still along the same lines, you know, it, it's still problemat problematic. Uh, LT seems to have uh, some demons that he has to uh, get rid of, you know, it's very unfortunate, you know, maybe these problems could have been solved long ago, I don't know, but he's got to do something. He's got to. Uh, he is on a course of self-destruction. If he is convicted... Uh, he has been charged uh, with rape in the third degree, and also he has been charged with solicitation of prostitute of a prostitute, uh, which could uh, get him in jail up to 15 years. This could really uh, be the end of Lawrence Taylor, uh, and I think it comes from him not confronting uh, the demons that have been in him even since his college days. Lawrence Taylor has a history, a history of getting in trouble even when he was at the University of North Carolina and probably before. Uh, when he was with the New York Giants, uh, his coaches and that organization has admitted uh, to basically uh, faking his urine test. This did not help Lawrence Taylor, did it? Yeah, no. I remember, I remember those drug years. I remember uh, reporters going into the locker room. I think it was uh, right after a game, and it was dead silent. And they were asking people questions, and Phil Simms walked through the middle and said, no comment. Okay, and uh, you know, he, he pretty much he's had the whole team enabling him and defending him, and he's gotten away with that. But where's it got him now? Right. Okay, and so, and that, and that's the only thing that can come from enabling people is, is something wrong, something bad, because they're not going to stop on their own. Maybe right. Part of enabling is wishing that they'll stop on their own. There's not going to happen. There needed to be a, a sincere intervention with right. Lawrence Taylor yeah. years ago. Yes. Had, uh, my question is. Have we really seen a real intervention with Lawrence Taylor? He claimed to be drug-free for 10 to 12 years, but the pattern uh, is still there. Did he relapse is a question, uh, which does happen to people uh, that have been able to uh, free themselves from forms of addiction. Yeah, there's a lot of questions regarding that. Uh, you know, he was caught with um, somebody, an underage young lady, and he had alcohol. There was no drugs found, okay? Uh, obviously, the media is not going to cover for him. There was, they, they say there's no drugs found. There was no drugs there. Okay, so he might be off drugs, but now there's a, he's replaced it with a different addiction. Right. Okay? Um, so, you know, it, it, it's not good uh, any way you look at it. You know, um, so it, it, it's a great disappointment to me. Uh, I know, I'm quite sure to a lot of other people. Uh, burnt, extra burden on his family. What are you going to do? Let me ask you about your comments on he deserved a slave whipping. <laughs> I think people want to know. Well, you know what? That's my terminology I use for, for a lot of people. It's not just... Uh, I used to use it for people like Clarence Thomas or whatever. I've used it for certain rappers who were uh, too anti-black, too negative. Okay? And it's, in the case of Lawrence Taylor, not a young person, an old school person who knows better. Okay? Yeah. That person deserves a slave whipping from the standpoint that uh, they they know what they're doing is wrong. They you know uh, they know uh, they, they're hurting people. All right, they know that they're they're expected to live up to a standard of behavior, not just in general, but either but also for African Americans. A lot of black people looked up to Lawrence. Okay, a lot of black kids looked up to Lawrence. You know, uh, so he can't continue doing this cannot continue behaving this way. You know, uh, when you are an entertainer or athlete of high profile, you are a role model by default. You got no say-so in it. But ha <clears throat> can addiction, I know uh, addiction is serious. Cocaine addiction is serious. It's destroyed yes. companies. It's destroyed people. Mm -hmm. It's destroyed families. families. Um, do you think in his case, 
um, people might be using uh, the addiction as a enabling crutch for him? It has, is it getting to a point that he's not conf has confronted his demons and maybe the behavior is still, um, you know, I, I, I haven't seen any parts of any type of drug test, but what I'm saying is, has he freed himself from the addiction, but the behavior is still there? It, that might have been you know, motivated from his, his use and of And, you know, in, in, in that terminology, I think it's um, AA terminology. I think it's called dry drunk or whatever. Yeah, you know, the habit. You might be off the, the, the substance, the alcohol, or the drug, but the behavior is still there. That could be it. You know, because, you know, it comes up. I've seen that happen. You know, um, and if that, you know, he, he, has very little pro he has very little power over that. You know what I'm saying? The only thing you can do is continue to stay dry. That's it. Um, so, yeah, it, that could be a factor. That could very well be a factor. Absolutely. But here, here's the thing. What placed him in that room at that time? Absolutely. With an underage female. Now, yeah. this, girl, this girl also was allegedly beaten by her pimp, uh, forced into this, forced into the room, okay? Uh, so the time for Lawrence to really do anything... Is really uh, when 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 he fought, when he saw her he, when he saw those marks on her face, he should have put a whooping on the pimp, <laughs> okay, and got some help for her. Right. I could I, I could respect that much more, okay. Uh, you know it's now close to a fifty year old man now. Yes, exactly. You know the, you got these now you're hearing about athletes chasing after underage girls. You know uh, Michael Jackson, uh, young white boys. You know, a grown adult black females don't stand a chance anymore. <laughs> okay, the Tiger Woods chasing white women. You know what? 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 What happened to that? What happened to dialogue with grown women? Okay, what happened to an old fashioned going to the bar? My name is so and so. You know, whatever. You you see somebody twenty five, thirty years old, whatever the case may be. What happened to that? Are women out? Are real women out now? Money, stardom. These are things that come with that territory, and he's not in the limelight anymore, but maybe he's been used to just getting whatever he wants to in life. It's a subject that uh, needs a lot of dialogue. What brought one of the greatest football players of all time to this type of behavior? Mm -hmm. uh, with the drug use, I think it is a dialogue uh, that needs uh, to be made. With that being said, let's move to the controversy of Arizona. <laughs>